Lorenze, you know, obviously you got to finish off your time with Indiana strong. Just going to that last game that you had with Indiana while you were here in Orlando. Uh, it's a good opportunity. Got a lot of minutes, so was able to showcase what I can do. You know, control the paint, blocks, rebounds, finish around the rim. Uh, the basic things that I do. When you look at all-around game, is is that one of the best? You know, whether it counts or not, when it comes to the NBA season, is that one of the best ones you've had recently? Uh, no, actually, I had a great stint in Minnesota. Um, but as far as some of that, that was my best game so far. The most minutes I've got, so I was able to produce. What was it about getting minutes? Because you know, obviously, they want to see a bunch of different guys. They want to kind of see who fits their system and whatnot. What do they say to you? Do they let you know before a game, or is it kind of just with the flow of the game, they either put you in or they take you out? You just got to stay ready. Um, every situation is different. Some guys that just start you from the beginning, some guys that won't play this game and play the next game. So you just got to stay ready. Hitting a three, is that something that is a part of your game, something that you're used to? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so bring me into that. What, what happened in that? Uh, just a broken down play. When you look at Indiana and, and having been with Indiana in 2014 Summer League and 2015 in Orlando, what are some of the things that you've learned from this organization? Uh, I mean, they're used to winning. Um, everything is built around winning, and you know, their staple is defense. So if you're a good defensive player, they want to keep you around. Now, you didn't play in uh, the last game here today. What was it like for you to have to sit out ch championship day? I mean, was it nice for you? Is it kind of make you Oh, hungry? well, we didn't, we didn't participate in the championship. But, you know, you always want to play as a player. Um, I'm just getting ready to head to Vegas and go play out there. And going out to Vegas, um, you'll be playing with the Brooklyn Nets. How did that all come about? Did you just kind of get notified? or? Yeah, you know, I mean, teams will call you. Uh, for Vegas if they like you and you just try to figure out uh, what would be the best fit for you and um, we thought that was the best fit for me so we decided to go with them. What's it like to have Brooklyn here in Orlando and obviously you're playing with Indiana and then you find out you're going to be going over to Vegas with Brooklyn. I mean is it strange knowing that you played up against this team and you've obviously been around them all week? Yeah I mean but that's the that's the thing about the league you got to be ready at all times. I mean any switch is going to be overnight thing. People get traded the next day, and you know things happen all the time. So you just got to stay ready. How have you kind of handled the business part of it? You know, Minnesota, you were with them, and then you ended up in Indiana. You've been around to a bunch of different places in your pro career. How do you look at the business side of it, and how do you kind of handle it? Uh, it's tough, but you know, like that's what you signed up for. A lot of people want to be in this situation, so I mean, you take it with stride. What can you say about Brooklyn? How much do you know about the organization? Uh, I mean, I'm going to be fairly new to it, um, but, you know, I just try to pick it up and learn quick because, you know, we're already playing tomorrow, so I, we got to practice tomorrow morning. I try to learn as much as I can and try to produce in the game. Do you feel like Summer League has given you opportunities over the years? I mean, obviously you've come up and you've, you've shown out in games, but do you feel like Summer, Summer League is, is a piece of what's gotten you onto NBA rosters? Yes, Summer League is good. Uh, Obviously, they look at their body of work during the year. And some of the, they, they get to see you in person because a lot of guys are working while we're playing. So uh, this is a time where they could just sit down and watch you by themselves. I got to ask you uh, off the court as far as NBA goes, but Mike Hopkins finally was given the uh, head coach designate job in, in Syracuse after Jim Beheim's done. And, and obviously, he's worked with the Bigs for a long time. What can you say about Mike? Uh, great coach. Uh, uh, he's ready for that job. That's one thing we know for sure. I mean, he's, he's, he's a smart coach, and I mean, I think he's he's going to carry the program well. Is there anything that you take with, you know, in your life that he's maybe taught you over the years? Anything that kind of lasts with you? Uh, it's a lot. I mean, being there for that long and being with him on an everyday basis. I mean, the, the energy he brings every day, the, the mindset is just you know something that you always take with you. All right.